Life as we know it has been put on hold since the coronavirus pandemic began. Many people can't work, and that's raising questions when it comes to the production of some of our favorite shows. Eric Paulson caught up with The Young and the Restless, actor Christian LeBlanc, to see how their set is adjusting. This morning, we are talking to uh, one of the stars of The Young and the Restless, one of the most popular soap operas in the history of television, Christian LeBlanc, who is a, a, a native from here, uh, but lives here and in Los Angeles. And the show's on hiatus. You guys are running old shows. Tell me how long this is gonna go on. Well, this just started as far as we were able, I think what their strategy was earlier uh, was to mix new and old. So we would have a like a Monday where it was gonna be a, a, a classic show. And then we'd go to a newer new episode, but they are eventually running out. We're not as far as ahead as some shows. Some like uh, Days of Our Lives is months and months ahead. Yeah. Uh, ahead. But um, they, they have a much faster production. Uh, but yeah, we will start now. Uh, their, uh, their strategy is to air themed weeks of old classic shows. So uh, the first one is going to be featuring Jeannie Cooper, who played Miss Chancellor on the te Catherine Chancellor, very popular character that she's passed on. Yeah. But it, and these shows are, like I said, the benefit of having a 47 year old show and an audience that's tracked you of many people through those whole 47 years is that they love this. This is right up uh, our oh, own yeah. Our yeah. demographic, Sally. And not now. Not to interrupt, but, but I am interrupting. Um, you guys shut down production uh, last month, correct? Yes, yes. I got back uh, from New Orleans where I saw you uh, March 12th, uh, 11th, and I worked the 12th. And one of our castmates uh, had not been diagnosed then, but was later diagnosed with uh, COVID-19. And uh, so I was in, already been in isolation for 15 days. Uh, and then another, uh, the whole family of, of our actors was diagnosed. They went out of production later that week when everybody else did, when uh, Governor Newsom in California was one of the first people to, uh, to you have people shelter in place. Um, so it's been, I haven't even counted the days. I mean, it's like everybody else. I've yeah. sure, uh, Do you look at the time, what day it is, what week it is? And let no. me ask you this, when you, when you guys go back, do you think the writers will maybe – have a COVID-19 thing or something? We've taught, they, they, you know, because, and that's, it's been, a, it's been a, that question has come up with a lot of uh, current events. Uh, say when the riots in LA were happening, because Bold and Beautiful, our sister shows located in Los Angeles. When, when a lot of uh, current events happen, the question was whether to include them. And I think the answer they always get is this is an aspirational show as far as a fantasy. And you are using this show, I think, to enter another world that is a part of this, Genoa City. But um, that people use this as escapism. So I don't know if they will include this. I don't know if they might have to include this as far as how do you start shooting a show again if we when we come back, uh, if we're having to keep six feet away from each other. Now, I have to say that the actor who, uh, and it's Greg Rickart, that's already been in the, in the papers and stuff, was already self-distancing because he felt that he was coming down with something. So the day I came back on the 12th, uh, he was already, we, there was a, it was a big uh, baby shower, uh, fictional, and there was no hugging. There was no in, on that particular show. He was way ahead of the game as far as calling and saying, I would like to keep my distance. And, um, and luckily so, because he later was uh, a positive uh, diagnosis and he's much better. He's fine now. Um, and reunited with his family. But that kind of thing, how does that work out? Like everybody else, we've got to navigate this whole new world as far as uh, it's going to depend on what, again, uh, what kind of isolation, the testing, all the things we've heard about in the news, yeah. as far as who can come close to you again with without a mask. Because we've also got crew and cameramen and makeup people who are coming very close to you. So, uh, It'll be interesting how this all starts again. I, I, I have so many friends in live theater and, and musicians. It's the same kind of deal in live theater, especially. How do you deal with that on Broadway as far as your yeah. play requires what the play requires? Well, all right. And, but but how, would, how would your character, Michael Baldwin, deal with this if, if he would ever get the COVID-19? Just give me a courtroom. Give me a courtroom and I have a lot of room and I have <laughs> to talk loud uh, to everybody around me. 
but I have a safe distance from, we'll just keep it from the witness stand of the court. The, the problem is uh, uh, me and my, uh, Lauren, uh, Tracy Bregman plays my wife on the show. <laughs> We're all about the love. So yeah. uh, it's, it's a hard one to negotiate as far as uh, how this is going to look and how long, because again, it'll, it'll, we'll go back to work when the world goes back to work. I yeah. assume. It's a whole uh, new world, it, Christian. Christian, yeah. thank you very much. Uh, you know, uh, it's good talking to you and hope everything works out well for you guys. Yeah, you too. Good my love to home. To New All Orleans. Right.